just looking back over your post, um, I know this has been a tough couple of days for everyone on the department. What made you want to write that, that Facebook post today? Or when did you write it? I believe it was a couple, maybe day before yesterday. Okay. So, uh, well, I mean, just anytime there's an event that goes on, uh, I, I spend a lot of time out in the community, you know, just go to church out in North Tulsa, born and raised, my family still lives in North Tulsa. And so uh, I know a lot of times when I go places, they just want to talk to me. And they just want someone, that, the community just wants somebody they can, they can just listen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so I get a lot of emails. Anytime there's something going on anywhere in the world, people want, you know, just people want to vent. And a lot of times I think that, you know, people don't necessarily want you to just give your opinion. They just want somebody to listen, you know, mm -hmm. about things. And so I just wanted people to know that, you know, I'm listening. Like so many of the officers in the community, uh, it's not just, you know, so oftentimes they, they think that, you know, it's all about back in the blue or, you know, no, we listen. We have families. We live in the communities. Uh, they're every day. And so I just wanted the community to know that I'm listening, you know. Uh, I read the posts. It affects me. When something happens, it affects me just like it affects them. I have kids. I have a wife. Um, it affects me. And so I want them to know that, you know, that things go on in the world. You know, it's just, it's, we, 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 we listen. We pay attention. And we support you. So, what are some of the posts you've seen online that have really affected you? You know, it's not necessarily one individual post that I could just think of. It just, you know, I try not to read media too much. You know, mm -hmm. look into things. But a lot of the posts, though, what, what, what I, the people want someone to listen. They want to listen. They want, they want someone they can talk to. They want someone they can see. Uh, physically, they want some, they got questions they want to ask, and sometimes they feel like they're not getting through for whatever reason. You know, it's going on death ears, and so that's what really got me. You know, I want people to know that man, I, I'm here for you. I'm listening. Uh, not only that, you know, I'm someone that you can you, you can come talk to me in the community. I'm I'm here uh, for you. So just wanted them to know they could talk to me. I'm sure you've seen a lot of anti-police things on Facebook. Um, it's probably a lot from your your community in North Tulsa. How does it feel to see that? Well, I mean, I could tell you that, I mean, I go to church every weekend out in North Tulsa. Um, I'm out there every day either talking to some kids or, you know, just doing community work. The, the biggest thing that I get is that, you know, they're, they're supportive. They really are. Uh, you have people that are angry about certain things, but you know, they, they support me, but they also, they just have questions. And I think that's where, where I want to come in. I think that's what we need more of It's just that, there has to be a connection, you know, between the community and the department all across the country outside of events that go on. You know, there has to be this connection where people, when things happen, they can come ask, you know, hey, what do you think about this or why did this happen? You know, just being someone they can talk to. So. I did a story yesterday about how this whole shooting has affected North Tulsa, and I talked to a lot of kids who were like, I don't know what to do now. Like, I don't know what to do when a police officer approaches me. As a police officer yourself, how does that feel to hear that? I, I know the feeling. You know, I grew up in North Tulsa, and prior to me joining the department, nobody in my family was a police officer. I grew up thinking that, you know, you had to be scared of the police just based off stories that I heard. And the biggest thing that I, that I see now in the community is that a large majority of, of the people and from my community, they don't, they don't, they don't know, they don't, they don't have anyone they can associate, associate with the department. They don't, they, don't know, they don't know people that are police officers. They don't know family members. So all they know is what they see on TV, what they hear throughout the community. So it's, it's not that they're, they're, they're just, they're, they're, they hate the police or they're just mad at the police. It's just, it's just that, you know, this is the only thing I see. Uh, they don't have opportunities to have um, good contacts with the police department simply because they're, you know, they just don't come in contact with us. We're so busy. We're going from calls to calls or we're working. And so they don't have, they don't, they're not able to stop and see us just you know, getting out, talking to kids. Um, those stories don't get shared as much, and so the only thing I'm seeing is the negative, you know, the, the, this on TV, the shootings and all that, and so when you, that's the only thing that's being shown on TV, there's not necessarily that trust there, or that I don't have a connection, I don't, I don't, I don't know somebody from my community or that I grew with that I trust that I can associate with the department, and so you're telling me to trust something that I don't know, I have no connection with it, I, I, you know, I, don't, I, can't, I can't look at that officer and say I went to school with him. Uh, you know, he's from the same neighborhood I'm from. And so when you have that, and me being from, from the community, that's one thing I want them to know is, like, man, listen, I'm from the same neighborhood that you're from. Uh, 
I grew up, you know, going to the same park, same elementary. You can trust me uh, and, and know that because I think some of the things that go on, they, they think that this is just atmosphere of, you know, you guys are letting, allowing all this stuff to go on. That's not true. Uh, not true at all. Uh, everybody I work with is on the same page. Uh, here for the community, uh, things that go on that affect all of us. Uh, everything that happens is something separate. And so we all deal with it, you know, when it, come, when it comes up. So. so I just reading your post and saying, you know, if you want to be the change that you're seeking, apply for a job, we're hiring. Mm -hmm. um, is that why you became a police officer? It is, you know. When I grew up, like I said, when I grew up, I used to hear stories. I didn't, I, you know, being a police officer was nothing that I thought I could be. Just, it just was never crossed my mind. Even though my, my mom could always say, when you never a police car would, would drive by, you would just light up. Uh, you, that's what you wanted to do. I could tell, but you just never mentioned it. Until when I was in college and I had a friend that said, hey, you know, come do a ride along. And I went and did a ride along. I'm like, you know, I was already doing uh, youth work, youth ministry work at my church. Or I was with big brothers and sisters. And I always, I always had a connection in that part where you know, I could go to these kids, I can go to their schools. But there was like a group that I was missing. And that was a group that were, they know that was staying in trouble. Uh, I mean, this is another, another great way for me to continue my work in my, my community is that, you know, I can do this side of it. Uh, there's a bunch of stereotypes, you know, about the department. You know, grew up people that said this, that, and other. I'm like, you know what, it's one thing to, for me. I could, I could get on, you know, I could stand up and scream that, you know, all this stuff's going on with the police department or, you know, departments like this. Or I can, you know, go join and be the change that, that I want, that my community needs, or that people are screaming for. I can be that. I think so oftentimes, you know, not just in police, you know, even with schools, you know, we, we look at school systems and we say, hey, it's, it's, they're bad, mm -hmm. but nobody wants to be a teacher. Or we could say all these things, but sometimes you got to go be a, be a part of the solution. Uh, I'm not, definitely there, there is a problem, but the solution is what we need, so. So you have, how long have you been on the, on the force? Six years. Six years, and you came straight out of college? Yes, ma'am. Well, I graduated college, and I wanted to come straight out of college, but they had to lay off, so I had to go do a bunch of odd jobs, sold cars, did whatever I could for, for about two years just to wait till they started back hiring again. Um, what would your message be to a kid in North Tulsa today who's frightened of police and, and has seen the news and, and all of these bad things and is scared, won't admit it, but is scared, what would you say to that kid? I understand you. I, I, I at one time had the same fears. But I would tell that kid is that you can be me. You can, you can be the solution. Everything that, everything that scares you can motivate you. Uh, everything that you're worried about. I know I've, I've, I've talked to several people that, you know, I'm afraid for my son. I'm afraid for you know my nephew. I'm afraid for this. I understand, but you know your, your nephew or your son could become the police. You know, or, or you could become. Um, we have to build that relation, that connection with the community. So we need people from the community to apply for the job. That way, when they're working in their communities, people can see that be someone that they trust. Uh, you trust yourself, hopefully. So if you trust yourself, come be a part of the solution. Uh, you can always ask for change, you can always demand change, or you can come be the change. And that's what we need more of, so. Um, what's it been like the past couple of days, you know, just being out on patrol and, and, and being out in this community? What's it been like? It's, it's been emotional. It has been, I can tell you. It's been emotional, I think, for everybody. Uh, it's been emotional. Have a lot of people approached you, asked you questions? What questions are they asking? Uh, people are, yeah, we, we get a lot of questions, and um, people, are, you know, the questions range from what are you guys doing, or, you know, what's been done, or how can I help you? What do you need? We're praying for you. Uh, uh, just a wide variety of questions. And, and, and again, hearing those things on social media and the news about police officers right now, especially here in Tulsa, mm -hmm. is it? Is it difficult to not take those things personally when you're on the job? It, uh, it's, 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 it's difficult because, you know, I, I understand, you know, I understand that people are not mad at me personally. I understand that, you know, it's not a personal deal. It's uh, as a whole, you know. 
but it's still kind of hard, you know, because you still have to go to work. And outside of what's going on in the world, you know, outside of what makes the news, there are still all these other calls that never makes the news. Uh, there's still all the things that you, know, you go out of your way. I mean, I'm talking about countless officers that go out of, the, out of their way to do things, not to make the news, not to, you know, for the credit. Um, and I heard for them also, you know, I heard for the officers that, you know, they get grouped into a specific, you know, because of maybe the color of their skin, their race, or whatever. Uh, and then no one, you know, they don't get credit for the good things they do. And so whenever you hear things like this, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of hard. But I understand, you know, I understand why people are frustrated. I understand that, you know, we are, it's, one of my high school, my college coaches used to always say that, you know, uh, each player represents the team. And so, you know, team wins, everyone gets a trophy. But also, you know, all it takes is one person to do one thing, and they're not going to call that one person's name out. They're going to call the team out. They're going to associate this with the team. So you understand that. You know, I've always been a part of teams, and so I understand that when things happen, you know, it's, I have to be a part of the solution. I may not have been a part of this situation, but I am part of the team, and so it's my job to be a part of the solution. That way we all win. So. Um, moving forward, I think there was a lot of people yesterday that I talked to who were expressing that they hope that the relationship between them and police you know, improves. Um, just being from that area, do you hope to be part of that? Oh, forward? yes. Uh, I mean, I pray, that I, I pray that I've been a part of that. Uh, it's still a long way to go. There, there, no doubt, it's still a long way to go. Uh, I, think, I think that starts with um, just having a, there has to be a place where we can communicate. There has to be a, an opportunity for the, for the public and the police to have, you know, conversation. And not just when something happens, but, you know, just an ongoing conversation. Uh, you know, the, the officers have to be able to interact with the community. Uh, so oftentimes, man, we're so busy. We're going from cause to cause, or, you know, we got, you know, just, you know, just working, we, we don't have opportunity to stop and just say hello or just stop and, and play basketball with the kids. Uh, that's what we need, you know. That's what the community, community really needs. They need to be able to see police officers outside of their their day-to-day uh, -day role. You know, they need to be able to see police officers. They need to be able to put, you know, humanize us. They need to be able to say, you know, wow, that's a police officer. He likes sports. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've come in contact with kids and they're like, I can't believe you're a police officer. And I'm always asking why. And just because we're joking around. And it's just, and it hits me like, well, you know, what he just said is I mean, he, he hasn't had an opportunity to just talk to us, you know, be around us, to see that, hey, I mean, I, I can't tell you when I go to churches and I, when I go speak to kids, usually the last thing I mention is I'm a police officer because I want them to, you know, see me for me first. Whenever I tell them that, it's just like, wow, you're a police officer? It's just because they already have an image in their mind of what a police officer has to be, what, you know, what he looks like. And, and I want to tell them, oh, man, you, you can be a police officer. Uh, there, there's not, you don't join the police department and become, you know, like the police department. Everybody's different. Everybody comes with different different backgrounds. Come from from different from different communities. What you bring to this department could be what we need. Uh, I can only bring from what my experience has been, and so I can change the people who I influence from you know, from my history, from my background. But there's still the change that we that we need. Maybe right there outside protesting, they could be the change. They could be what we need to move forward. Uh, the person that's going to fix all of this could be waiting to put his application in, and so. Uh, now, I would just tell every kid, man, I mean, you can be a part of the change. That's what's awesome. You can be, you can be the change. As much as you, as hard as you are frustrated, I mean, take all of that passion and ask yourself, what can I do to be the change? Uh, and you can do it. I mean, this, you, you can actually come and join this department and be on the streets within a year and be, you know, be making a difference. Uh, uh, work in your neighborhood that you grew up in. So what would it mean to you, let's flash forward to 20 years from now, and there's a new kid, a rookie, and he's like, I'm standing here, police officer today, because I remember you coming to my class or whatever and talking about, it. what would that mean to you? I mean, it would mean so much. The, the, the reason why I'm a, I'm, I'm a police officer is because when I was growing up, I grew up in North Tulsa, and the, the, the first interaction I ever had, I didn't have any bad interaction with police, just didn't have any. Uh, my first interaction I actually had with a police officer was at a, at a park, he was doing park security. And after the park normally would close at 8 p.m., they start keeping open to midnight. We had nothing else to do. Um, my, my dad was disabled. Only thing we could do was go to the park. And he would see us there every night. Well, we would have to leave after a certain period of time because our, our parents weren't there. And so one day he's like, you know, hey, you guys wanna put a team together? And we're like, yeah, we'd love to, but our parents can't afford it. And so this sheriff, man, 
he came and picked us up, this group of kids, every day, took us all over the city, uh, going to games around Christmas time, around holidays. He made sure everybody had food. He would bring toys by. And that just changed my whole life, like, wow. So he's the reason why I wanted to be a police officer uh, from what he, what, he, what he showed me. And I've always said, you know, my job is to touch a kid like he touched me while I'm on this job, is to you know, let a kid know that, man, that I love you, I care about you. And that when we take an oath uh, with our life, if need be, that doesn't mean just hopping behind a bullet. And if I can stop you from joining the gang and save your life, that's what it's all about. If I can, if I can uh, come to that one call and, it, and just impact your life with the two or three words in that two or three seconds that make you want to do this, or, you know, I was going to do this life, but the three words he said to me made me, hey, I'm going to go be a teacher. I want to go be a lawyer. I want to go be a doctor. That's my goal every day, man, is just to impact one person, especially a kid, because, man, when you can impact one kid, man, he can save a whole community. And so hey, that's just my job, man. That, that would mean so much to me, whether it be, hey, you, you told me to go be a doctor, and I can do it. I always tell kids, don't tell me what you, what you, uh, what you, can't, what you can't do because of, you know, can't afford it or my neighborhood. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. As long as you put your mind to it, you work hard for it, you can, you can do it. So you be successful. Nobody can tell you different. And so now your Facebook page is just, or your Facebook post is just blowing up and going everywhere. How's that feel? Man, I, I, I would have had no idea. You know, uh, glory to God. I mean, I, I wouldn't have had no idea that, that. Uh, but, but to me, that lets me know that you know, me writing that post was just me being me, uh, and people liked it, and so. That goes back to my, my thing, you know. If you be you, you can, you can be a part of the change. I pray that me being me is a part of the change. Uh, if, 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 if you're watching and you still think that, man, you know, it's still far away to go, that's awesome, man. I, I understand. That's not awesome that we need that stuff far to go, but we know it. But you can be, you can be that change. And you don't necessarily have to be, come be a police officer, man. It, it could be your goal is to, my, my goal is to be a teacher, but, you know, I never accepted that calling because it, maybe it's my money or something. Man, go be a teacher. Go, go, you, you, go, 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 go impact the kids of our future. You, know, you, you can teach the future police officers. You, know, you, you, you want us to, to be a certain way? Hey, you can impact them in that, in that way. You can go be a teacher. You know? uh, it takes a whole community. It takes a village. And so we all play our own little part.